the songs are like it's it's a neat novelty because the songs are like you fight against one character who doesn't have a mouth but like her voice changed to a bunch of other like mod characters voices yeah like witty and you don't know who any of these are but the people want to like witty and tricky and tabby and uh Ruth and uh who else shaggy and matt and, uh, cassette girl. Yeah, You're, I know all of those people. It's mostly witty cassette girl, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's well made. I'm just not that big of a fan of it. Also, is there a reason? Like the main reason? The main reason is just that the songs are mid. Oh, uh, maybe you're mid. The art is really well done, and they all bounce on beat with the music, which a lot of mods get wrong. So I always appreciate that. I mean, it sounds nice. Uh, and the Ina song it sucks. Sorry, that's my hot take. Why hot. is it? Why is it bad? Because it's like it just sounds like all those generic spammy songs that use crappy vocals that don't know how to make songs. Okay. I'm tired, so I can be mean. <laughs> oh, you're allowed to be, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> Hotline 024. Let me pull this up for you and play that song. Because when you hear it, you'll know what I mean. Like, the instrumental is well made and the art <coughs> is very well done. But I just don't like the way this song sounds. You want to turn down the music for the game? On no. There? Okay. <laughs> Like, it's just spamming vocal clips. Like, it's not actually like a chromatic scale. Which, I get why it's appropriate for the character. I actually like it. The, okay, I'm listening to it now, and I, I kind of like it. I actually kind of like it a lot. I shouldn't have called it crappy. That's that's a whole character arc in 10 seconds. <laughs> I think... I think I didn't like it because I listened to it at like 12.03 p.m. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I was too tired to appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Welcome back to Two White Guy. <laughs> is, just, this is the podcast episode. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. Okay. But I wasn't gonna say it. I was thinking it. Uh, do I just talk about Friday Night Funkin'? Probably. I mean, whatever. I like that game. Like, uh, okay, I was talking with my friend Doro last night, and he said that, uh... We were talking- I was rambling about Funkin', and he was like- Typical. Being- <laughs> He was being encouraging. <laughs> he was being patient. Typical. And, uh... This is the same person who made the Toad song. The, like, not the Toad song, the, like, Megalovania Yahoo thing. You remember that from Legends Arceus? Yeah. He's the same guy who made that. And so, uh... I was talking with him about Funkin', and I, I was say saying how, like, boyfriend and girlfriend are canonically, like, dumb as a bag of rocks. Like, their IQ is zero. <laughs> and that's why they're not scared of, like, anything. Except for Thunder. And so Toro said, is there a versus thunder mod? And there's not. <coughs> and I'm really sad that I don't have the capability of making the versus thunder mod because that's such a genius idea. It would be, it sounds pretty good. Like a thundercloud just rolls up and they're confused and then it pulls out a microphone and thunders into it. And then they're scared because they're only scared of thunder. Yeah. And then it's like one, it's only one song, 
but it's like the chromatic scale is like a really deep kind of rolling thundery voice. I tried to look up a voice like thunder online to see if I could find a voice that sounds like thunder, but all I found were Bible verses. We're gonna commission someone to do it. I hey Dylan. <laughs> I refuse. You knew, you, you knew it was coming. I actually didn't. <laughs> I actually didn't expect it. This man can make art and code and make music, but he won't make me a Friday Night Funkin' mod for free. I won't make you Or for, for paid. <laughs> You're a coward. You know what? I am a coward after my life experiences of commissions. It's enough to do anyone in. Talk to a real artist, though. <laughs> They'll tell you. You know I'm just messing with you. Are you? Partially. <laughs> <laughs> Partially. Get me out of here. <laughs> no, partially and okay. I do wish that I could, like, have one of those three <coughs> skills, art, coding, or music, so I could, like, get together a team of people who'd be willing to help me make stuff. Because being the ideas guy is just lame. You're not actually doing anything. I'll, I'll be your coding guy because that's what I'm getting my degree in. I won't be your music or art guy because I can't do those. You can art. I can't digital art and I can't replicate the style of Funkin. Yeah, just do your art and then we can make it digital. You can digitalize art. That's true. I don't have much experience with it, but... I have to figure out how to, like, make a sprite sheet like that work. Uh, but yeah. That's, that's the... If someone wants to make the Versus Thunder mod, just credit two white guys for the, for the idea. Actually, don't credit two white guys. Credit... <laughs> so privileged. Credit Masterhand4444 and Dorokin. That's D O R O K E N. Because he's the one who had the original pitch, if you will. The pitch? The pitch. <laughs> you mean the conversation? You know what I mean. Yeah, the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> You're too far sucked in. I think I'm starting to get a migraine. Not because of you, just to clarify. <laughs> I wasn't sure. It could have been. Nothing. I would have believed it. It's the chromatic scale. <laughs> it, it immediately just migrained your face. <laughs> the Ina song was so bad. I, I, I'm surprised by listening to it again how much I didn't dislike it. Because I was like, I had it in my head, oh, I don't like this song. But I, I changed your mind. Yeah, actually, probably. <clears throat> I was vibing. You were. Yeah, I was vibing to that song. Yeah, this one is good. It's a little crazy. You know the game All? I don't know. It's a French RPG, made an RPG maker. Okay. It's like in black and white. There's a, a this one mod artist, Sewer Run, who's really good. Like has some of my favorite songs, and uh, they made a song based off of that for a mod that's based on RPG maker games. I think so far only ones have been one based off Off, one based off Lisa the Painful. Is it Painful or Joyful? Don't ask me. And one based off uh, One Shot. And my favorite is the off one. I think one of my favorite songs they've made is called Air Marshal. It's very funny. You rap against an Air Marshal. And he's like... <laughs> yeah, this one called Air Marshal, you rap against an Air Marshal. He says, it's based off of a comic that got suspended from Twitter because it was like very like shot comic-y. But it's, it, the one it's based off of is very funny. It's like a plane is going down, and at the end, the guy says, like, a guy who hasn't been in the rest of the, like, seven panels before pops up and says, Everyone get down. I'm an air marshal. Women and children to the back. And then he starts shooting two <laughs> guns to the back. Okay, that's pretty good. And so it's a mod of that, and it's like the air marshal shouts, Women 
the children to the back! And then he starts shooting at the back. I mean, I like that. It's a funny joke. Wait, tone. wait, I don't like that. Why? I don't want to get canceled. But I do like that. I think we're But fine. don't let the microphone hear me. Yeah. Dylan, I thought it was funny. If we whisper, the mic can't hear us. I thought it was funny. I laughed. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. I thought it was funny. <laughs> it was a really good comic. Someone got that reference. <laughs> it's someone in the world. The people of the world. Shout out. Someone got it. Sue Whoever that is. If you know, you <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. Let's talk about the game. Okay. I'm gonna look up if there's a Friday Night Funkin' mod of this. <laughs> Probably, it has good music. If and if. Dicey Dungeon. No. <coughs> Five Nights of Friday. All that came up was another playthrough of Hotline 024 and versus Oh Hungi. <laughs> oh he hungi. I I'm having trouble deciphering what this what this thumbnail is. <laughs> That's pretty good. Versus, oh, it has 14,000 views. Can you blame it? I'd give it a view. And then Accelerant, but Dave and Bambi sings it. Okay. To all you Dave and Bambi likers out there, you're annoying. Oh, sorry. Sorry for all of you likers out there. No, that mod sucks. I'm not sorry. I'm gonna listen to this just to prove it. I don't have an opinion because I don't play it. This voice isn't going to be good. If it is, I'll cry. I kind of like that. Do you oh. Wait. That's the boyfriend's voice. It just sounds pitched a little. Or is it because I'm over here? This is bad. Like It's like hardly even a voice. It's a sin. L, a dislike. I, I'm not hating, but I'm not. Oh, I, if you're if you're I'm too lazy, love. if you're too lazy to make a oh, don't hate on the white guy's if, channel. If you're too lazy to make an actual chromatic scale and just use a synth for your voice, then your mod is bad, no matter what. I'm sorry, I said it. Someone had to say it. I'm very like I can tell gung ho about this. It's very obvious. Like that's why uh, that's why mid fight masses is one of the worst Friday Night Funkin mods of all time. That's so sad. It's super popular too, which is even more confusing. In its original state, the charting was awful. The music was crap. It still is. Relatable. Uh, uh, shout out Mike Gino, you make awful music. Okay, I'm being mean now. You're so mean. I know, I'm being a jerk. Uh, okay, keep in mind, if I say what you made was crappy, that's not an attack on you, that's an attack on your music. I don't know if that's better. I mean, you can be like, I don't have any opinions on Mike Gino as a person. I don't know Mike Gino. I just think his music's bad. I hope you don't know him, because man, you'd be a bad friend. <laughs> I mean, okay. If somebody, if I showed somebody a song, right, and it sucked, and I thought it was amazing, I would hope they would tell me it sucks. You know? Yeah, I guess. I, I hear you. Like, it would hurt. I would be mad at them, but then I would I would think about my song more critically. I don't think anyone could think about my music more critically than I think about Because no one's heard it. <laughs> no, just because I, I can't just think that I did something good. 
Mm-hmm. I have to think there's a flaw and I have to find it. Mm-hmm. I, I think the reason why I get so ticked at Mike Gino music is because my younger brother plays it around the house all the time, so I hear it all the time. I will admit. Interesting. Uh, okay, while I hate his boyfriend Chromatic too, it's so bad. I will admit that, uh, what's that one song? Uh, Zavadilla. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up and play it. It is catchy. That doesn't make it a good song. Isn't that the point of a song though? Okay, the melody itself is gonna get stuck in your head, but you're not gonna like anything else. <laughs> like the character's voice isn't even a voice. It's just a ripoff of another song. Is it? I know this song. Is it actually? I've heard this song. Just like hanging out in the grocery store. For real? Like the the do 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 like that? Yeah. Yeah. That's a real song. The he'll play it on the radio. Not this part, but the very beginning with like the Yeah, yeah. right there. I'm pretty sure I've heard that before. Really? Like, pretty sure. I could be stupid, but I'm... So you see why I don't really like it? Given the rationale. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't like it either. I will say... I say I wouldn't like it. I'm right here. I don't like it. Yeah. I will say that the whole... Like, the melody is catchy. If they actually, like... I don't If the production was different, it would be a better song. The, co- the concept is there, I just don't like it. And if, if this channel pops off by the time this video goes up, we're going to have so many angry five-year-olds in our comments. What does it matter? We're two white guys. Oh, that's true. We don't, we're invincible. <laughs> we don't care about five-year-olds. We don't care about anyone but ourselves. We're two white guys. That's the point. What about, what about you? What are you, what's something that, what's one of your hot takes that like, if the community heard your, I just get the whole table. <laughs> what's, what's a hot take that if the community surrounding that hot take heard it, they would want to murder you? I know this sounds like a generic Twitter post. Do you want an, do you want an easy light one? No, I want like a typical one that's just stupid that you already know. <laughs> like that Mario 64 sucks? No, I mean, everyone knows Mario 64 sucks. No. Uh, we both agree on that one. You know? I feel like if I were to say publicly, like <coughs> I made a Twitter account right now and said Mid Fight Masses is one of the worst Friday Night Funkin' mods, I'd get a lot of Funkin' fans in my mentions, like, harassing me. So we should do that so people know our name. Genius marketing strategy, actually. The day this episode goes live, we make the white guy's Twitter. This episode in a year? <laughs> for a year from now? You want to schedule it for a year from now? <laughs> Can. Okay, but what's your, what's your spiciest topic? Gaming or otherwise? It's kind of hard to just come up with a hot take. Yeah, but what's something that like you feel strongly about that most people would disagree with you? I'm on the spot right now. Come on, Dylan. Just think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that helps. <laughs> I'm very helpful. You are a white guy. Oh. <laughs> I got three ones! <laughs> for my re-roll. Because <laughs> you couldn't think of anything. The game fun is you. I think a lot of the times yep. video games just a lot of the times <laughs> I think a lot of video games get popular and they don't deserve to be. I agree. I think a lot of video games don't deserve the love that they have at all, like, whatsoever. Well, like, can you give an example? No. Why not? Because I can't think of any. But I know that I've played games 
And I was like, they should not be as popular as they are. Like, definitely. I feel that way about Stardew Valley. Well. I know that's, like, super we, hot take. We disagree, because I love Stardew Valley. That's just not my style of game, though. Well, it's... Well, actually, no. I take that back. Stardew, Stardew Valley, Valley is very is, well made. It's made very well, and yeah. it has a lot of... Actually, I like, apologize to uh, <clears throat> Concerned Ape. That was out of pocket on my part. It's that a lot of these game companies and people don't really care. Yeah. And you can tell when you play their games that they just don't care about their games. I think the team behind this did care, but I think Nick All-Star Brawl shouldn't have gotten as popular for it did as it did for that short period. Because it's just a generic Nick platform fighter. It's probably not a really hot take, but I don't think Ultimate should have been as popular as it is. Really? I like it, but it's kind of... I get it. Are you a melee it's... guy? No, I'm just... I play ult. If I had one that was like a favorite, it might be Ultimate, but just looking at it... All they did was just add the fighters from the previous games and... Do like a couple little things. I don't know. There's there's plenty of love put behind the game. That's not the question I have. Yeah. Right? I can tell Mr. Sakurai himself loved he that He did game. all the work. He had no other team. If you look at the credits, it's just his name. Well, I, I, just, <laughs> I just mean I know there are some people who did a lot of work for Smash Ultimate. I was just and making fun of the people who only think Sakurai did anything for Smash. It's very impressive for what they did. Just the game itself, it's, it's a nice, it's a really big game and yeah. it got really popular. It's a feat. But I really think that if someone else released Smash Ultimate, like as it is, just Smash in and of itself, just Smash Ultimate, mm -hmm. it, that specific game, it wouldn't be popular. I think since Nintendo released it and they're the ones who put like their stuff in it, I think the very specific mechanics of itself in the fighters and just everything. I th I think Smash in general isn't like the best fighting game because I think just the fact that it's Nintendo characters is really what makes Smash like popular yeah. in my opinion. I do agree that like <clears throat> that's part of Nintendo's influence. Basically just anything they get out gets some sort of audience. Like uh Clubhouse games. You know? Kind of. That's like... I don't know much about Clubhouse It sold games. millions of copies. But it's just board games. Yeah. That... I think games like that do have their place. Because but, like, if Nintendo didn't publish it... It probably wouldn't have gotten much. Like, that's, that's... If I published it, no one would have... That's the point I'm making. Now, it makes sense that they put in a lot of work yeah. to get their to get themselves popular, so their games yeah. will get popularity. By April 2021, Clubhouse <clears throat> Games sold 3.14 million copies. I just think... That's more than ARMS. I just really think that some games aren't as good as they sell. I agree. I think that could be, like, true for a lot of the, like, AAA titles nowadays. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the little indie games that Susan Down the Road made. I'm talking about, like, the big games that are a lot. Yeah. Shoutouts to Susan Down the Road. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever that is. If you, there's you a, know what I, I'm going to be shocked if there's a Susan watching this. You know what I mean, though. Yeah, I just I just like, think a lot of games. Game that comes to mind is uh, Cyberpunk, which I heard if you take out the glitches, it's a good game. But the fact that it's so buggy and broken yeah. at launch, I don't know if they fixed it or not. Not sure about that one. I think it's a similar thing with FNAF Security Breach. I feel like because that got really. Of, I feel like most of the FNAF game. games aren't actually good. Really. I, I don't really think FNAF is a good franchise. I I disagree. 
Nothing against think, nothing against Scott. I think it gets stale after a while, but I think he did his best to try and innovate it. Especially since he's like a one-man show for most I, of it. I just think it should have stopped way... Oh, it, dra it dragged on too long. I'm I not saying disagree. the beginning games were bad. I don't disagree. I'm just saying after, like, you played your game, you, you got your game out, you did whatever, it's done. Yeah. He, he did way too much with continuing it. I think I think the right play would have been just to not. Just let it be. It just, I don't know. I think... In my opinion, it kills games and makes them bad if you just I think for in terms of FNAF he should have cut it off after the ultimate custom night and let that be the grand finale maybe have the VR one but instead of making it a story <coughs> fit into the story somehow just make it like a VR reboot and not be story just VR because it's a really good concept to have snap in VR. It's not bad. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I had a die that was on fire. And we're you not know, talking about this, we're talking about Five Nights. If you use a die that's on <laughs> fire, it does like two damage to you. And so with the witch, you can throw the die against them. And I threw the die and it like did the two fire damage, I think. I think that's what happened. I don't remember how to play this game. Well, you're not playing the game. That's true. Are you playing on my profile? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you're playing the game. That's correct. It's the podcast episode. It is the podcast episode. I don't know. I don't really have any real hot takes. That was kind of basic. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me, though. Yeah. I think a lot of people are like... Which isn't any hate against a game specifically. Nah, man. Call it out. <laughs> well, I don't have any games in mind that yeah. are like that. I, just, I, I think FNAF went on for too long, but I don't think it's a bad game by any means. Yeah, you're not wrong about it going on for too long. I think, if anything, I think the amount of games is okay. It just shouldn't have... It should have been spread out more. Instead of having, like... I understand wanting to capitalize on the popularity as much as possible, <coughs> but like, there probably should have been more space between, because like, most recent game was 2021, so that's like, uh, nine mainline FNAF titles in the span of, uh, seven years. Maybe if it was like one a year, instead of like one every few months like it was when it first came out, then people would be more receptive. Not that people weren't receptive, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Plus that would have given more development time to make the games stand out from each other more and give more playtesting. Because we know he was able to pump them out fast. Yeah. It, it should have gotten a little bit more love, but... Yeah. Not that he didn't work hard on it. Yeah. Stuff, like... I just mean love is in time, but it's not necessarily his yeah. fault. Oh, right. Definitely. If I was in his position, I would have done the same thing. Yeah. I also think in... Like, because, you know, we have the we have the blessing of hindsight. <laughs> so we can be like, oh, I, I, I would have done this, but like, you know. I don't know what I would have done. Like, I really don't. I... I think I would have, I, I don't think I would have, but I think he, he should have written the story out ahead of time. Really? Instead of like making it up as he goes. I agree. I mean, that's more of a hindsight thing, but. Yeah. I agree. The story he came up with is interesting up to a certain point. I mean, you know it. Yeah. You're going to post the whole lore. Oh, yeah. Or you, maybe you already have. I don't know what day it is. By the, by the time this video comes out, there will have be an edited version of my FNAF lecture on my channel. I gave a lecture in class. <coughs> uh, the footage is 57 minutes of... Although the actual lecture itself, I think, is like only 45 or 50. 
that last seven minutes is uh, people taking the quiz. Yeah, no one did well. No, highest score was a 70 out of 75. No one did well. That's an A. That guy got five bonus points for the class. No one did well. Which is sick. He should have, uh... I said at the beginning, make sure you take notes, and nobody took notes. No I, one. No one. They were all on their phones. Maybe someone was just new. Maybe that person just knew the lore. No. No one there did. How do you know? Because they all said they didn't. I mean... I gave it I've to... lied before. <laughs> I... <laughs> Yesterday, I gave it to two people who claimed they were FNAF masters, and uh, one got one got a 52 and a half, and the other got a 55. So they got, like, they were 20 points off from perfect. Well, I guess he just listened. To be fair, though, they didn't have the hour-long lecture. They might have been good otherwise. Yeah. Holy cow. What do you think about this game? I like it. You've obviously not played it a lot. I played it for a good while when I first got it, but then I just stopped. I'm I, not sure that's true. By a good while, I mean like a few hours, maybe. Okay, that might be true. Because your, your account has like nothing on it. Like, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, I played for a few hours, and I like the art, very charming. <clears throat> uh, I just rather play Slay the Spire than this. I agree. I just wanted to spice things up, make it a little different. Yeah. It's a good game. Shout outs to whoever made it. <laughs> I, I focus too much on Slay the Spire because I do it really fast paced. Mm. Oh, gotcha. So this you can more like backseat and actually podcast episode. I don't have to pay attention to this because the only thing I have to do is just press the attack button. Which I guess you could kind of do the same as Slay the Spire. But you're not going to do as well in Slay the Spire. Yeah. I think the reason why I'm getting a headache is because the glare from the sun on that car out the window is shining directly into my eyes. Ooh, that gives me a headache too. Oh, now that I looked at it. Yeah. I'm not feeling too good, Mr. Stark. Oh no, we're fading away. Uh...